Hey everyone, Mike Bonaventura here with the Archambault team in Century 21 Advanced Realty. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about pre-approvals. So you've gone to the bank, sat down, they've looked you up, looked at your history and said, you're pre-approved. Amazing. Now what? Let's go and buy a house? Not that simple. A pre-approval is exactly that. A quick snapshot from the bank's point of view, whether or not you can afford a mortgage payment. And usually with their calculators, they'll give you a purchase price. We use that price as a guide to eventually buy something. So you find something you like, you put an offer in, it's accepted. Are we done? No. Essentially, most pre-approvals require a finance condition. That finance condition, what happens then? We're pre-approved. Why do we need one? Essentially, the bank wants to insure, and we're going to use $400,000 pre-approval. You pay $400,000 for a house. The bank wants to ensure that that house you just purchased, offered to purchase, had the offer accepted, is in fact worth $400,000. It could be worth $200,000. Well, what does that matter? Well, if by chance, the small, small chance that you do in fact default on that mortgage payment over a set amount of time, the bank's gonna wanna seize their asset. They're gonna cover their costs. So they wanna ensure that this $400,000 that they borrowed you, they can get back by selling the home. And they typically won't be able to do that on an undervalued home. So, do we need a finance condition? You heard me mention that. Typically, yes, okay, because the bank does want to do their due diligence on that specific home. Are buyers taking out finance conditions? Yes, a few of them are. And that is very situational, all dependent on their down payment availability. Can they cover the cost between the appraisal and the purchase price? Um, it, it, also, their confidence in their credit situation. Typically, finance conditions are highly recommended but a good relationship with your realtor their relationship with your mortgage representative broker is key here because that communication can it, it, as good as it needs to be can be had and also one of the questions we have a lot is appraisals are they all needed well anything 20 percent if you're putting down 20 percent down or more the bank's gonna want a full detailed appraisal. Again, why is that? Because they are no longer insured by the CMHC, Canadian Mortgage Housing Corporation. That means that the bank is completely on the hook for that mortgage should something go sideways. Anything 20% and under is then got put through mortgage insurance, CMHC, or Janworth is, is another provider of that they have essentially assured that that mortgage is gonna get paid and if, if not, then there's a process for them to pay out on that. So hopefully this covers pre-approvals. Definitely don't wanna be looking at homes without pre-approval, without a set amount of spending limits. We won't even know where to start. So get pre-approved, talk to your realtor, put your mortgage representative broker in contact with your realtor so that they can start those open lines of communications. Also have all your documents ready so that when the offer is accepted, if your documents aren't already submitted, have them readily available, submit them to the mortgage representative so that finance condition can be satisfied as soon as possible. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.